Hi, my name is Leon with Big Text Tractor. Today we are going to show you how to install a third function valve on the LSMT2E Open Station Tractor. We have been using these valves for the past 10 years since we were with Brunson TYM and now with LS Tractors. These valves are built local and built specifically for our tractor. They are very good valve. As you can see, I have here with me the handle, uh, one piece of aluminum and the white kit. They come with already white in along with the third function valve, the solenoid, and the custom bracket and the host kit. We already installed this so that we can show you, but when you come with, when you buy with the kit, some of the fitting already installed for you. The other thing that we have is the long host kit with the front bracket that go into the uh, torque tube of the loader. All right, talk no more, let's get to it. As you can see, the valve blocks have four ports, two on top and two on the bottom. Each port has a letter symbol. The top two have letter A and B. This two port will have two long hydro lines go to the front of the loader where the torque tube is. On the bottom, it have two other port with the letter P and letter T. So the T is the hose that you go back to the transmission or they call it tank. The letter P stands for power beyond. It's the port that goes back to the loader valve. So on the LSMT2 new, this is where you hook up the hydraulic. What we do, we would split this fittings in half. This line going back is the letter T and the other half going back to the valve is for letter P. The next step, we are going to install the two long line from the valve blocks to the torque tube. This two end will go into letter A and letter B as mentioned in the video earlier. All right. Now, by the way, um, when you get the kit from us, this not install, but we want to go ahead and prep it that out. That way you can see it and make the video go faster. And this is how it look like after you prep them. So letter A and B, you cannot mix them because the way we have it done here. So all you have to do is press down. That's it. And then go to the front and have my guy install the front for his seat.
The next step, we are going to install a joystick and a wire harness. They come like this, pre-wired and ready to install. What we have here is we already installed on it for you to see. What you have to do is remove the factory knob and install the third function valve joysticks. When you install them, they go in like this. On the back side, it has two lock and screw. So you would use the Allen key and tighten it up and it will stay locked. So for this tractor, the wire going to run down here into the floor mat and under the floorboard. And you can see these two plugs, it, re it really doesn't matter if you have it plugged in into the solenoid valve on the top or the bottom. It has to do with open or close. So, as you can see, all you have to do is just plug them in. And that's it. Or you can flip them. So once you have them plugging in, and the next step you would basically run the rest of it to the battery. Okay, the red one will go to the positive cable and the black short one go to the negative cable. On top of that, we have a 10 amp fuse to protect it. Something, if something goes wrong, it blow up the fuse and you can pre replace a new one. So this is the finished product. That's how we install it. You can see the negative and the rest of it going here positive and the fuse, 10 amp fuse right here. So it's ready for us to hook up the grapple and do the test. Yeah. There you go. The whole process should be very simple. If you watch the video, how to install it. It usually take about one to two hour for the whole process. If you want to learn more about this third function valve, the cost of becoming a dealer for us on the third function valve, give us a call at 903 five two seven four 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 nine and this is big text tractor thank you very much